Welcome to my channel. This is Mrs. Green Thumb. Thank you very much. And I'm so happy to be here um, and announce that I got two butterflies born. So one is the last one after my relatives. Name is Dan. And if people don't show up, then I'm naming them after more relatives. But anyways, I'm so happy to announce that the second butterfly is Kathleen. Um, Kathleen, I'm going to show you a video. And by the way, Kathleen, just so you know, the reason I was on here, my hydro was out, well, hydro, electricity, power, whatever you want to call it, was out for hours yesterday. I couldn't live stream. Plus, this morning it went out all, it started at like, I don't know, four in the morning and the power's been out. It just came on about 30 minutes ago, roughly. And so that's the first time I could air was right now. Just so you're aware, if I do not show up, tonight I plan on coming up at 6, but if I don't show up, we're having storms here. One was storm last night, one, well, yesterday, and then we had another bad storm in the middle of the night. So that's why I'm not here. Uh, when I say something, I kind of want to show up, but it was really hard to get access to tell everybody that the power went out. It was hard to try to do this, so I did my best. But anyways, you ready? Without... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, today, right now it's good, but if, you know, we're, we're really on a bad um, circuit, because if anything goes wrong, it's always our circuit that goes out. Yeah, well, um, it did do a lot of damage. I don't hear anybody being hurt or died or anything from the storms, but it did do a lot of tree damage. Um, that's what I'd say. It did a lot of damage, and it did cause a little car accidents around, you know, some around our area, but um, otherwise... Uh, it's settled down. It looks like gloomy outside, but anyways, hopefully it'll be all gone. I hope so. I hope that I can come on tonight too. Anyways, Kathy, you ready for your baby? Here we go. Let me introduce you to. Let's see who I did. I did her first. Um, I gotta put. I gotta change my names. Here we go. So that's Kathleen right there. Oh, we got a lot. We that's Kathleen right there. There's little Kathleen. She, like I said, her wings are still so soft. I can't even move her because they're too, they're wet. I wait till about four hours, four or five hours, and then I move her to another cage because otherwise she'll flop. They fly and they'll knock off some of the chrysalis. So I move them to the other other uh, cage. And uh, just below that, look at that one. It didn't make it back to the top of chrysalis on one of the, the uh, branches here. You can see it dangling there. And uh, I, I hung it up, but that little thing was on the flat. I was afraid I was going to get another damaged butterfly, so we quickly moved it. And there is Dan. Dan was born first, and there's Marigold. Um, and Dan's at the background, so there's our babies. There's your baby Kathleen, and there's Dan right there. So it must have been meant. You said you never get notification. So it must have been you were supposed to be the first one to, to get a name after because... Well, it must be because you, you got notification on this one. So um, I'm happy to name her after you anyways. I was hoping you and Mike or whatever, the main people that come to me would come so I could name them. So I'm really excited to name one after her, uh, after you. So there you go. So there's Dan. And we'll flip to, there's, it's just on a, I always send them on a reel that just repeats themselves. So there's Kathleen. And I'll probably show other things along the way since we're here for at least a good half hour. Uh, depends on who comes in. If it's not too many, then I'll probably get off in a half hour. And if more come in, I'll stay up to an hour. And I'm doing a lot of stuff offline. Even though the weather permits, I can't go outside or anything. But I'm trying to do some stuff in here. I'm actually doing papers and stuff. You're very welcome. I'm happy. I'm happy you... You know, Kathleen, it's kind of funny. It must have meant to be for you to be here. Because, you know, it's exciting for you to be the very first one. Now, you know what's really exciting? I do also have... 11 more to name right so i had 13 dan took the one away making it 12 you took the next one away making it there's still 11 more butterflies to be born so um i was going to do one per person plus i will also uh if they no one comes i'm going to do name them after my family because i still have my niece i could name it and my brother-in-law and my sister and just there's a list of people i want to name on if people don't come in but happy 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 that you came and uh, these, we could tell, the next set, we're not sure. They're getting dark, but not sure. Not every day you get a, a butterfly named after you. Well, I know, it's kind of cool. I love it. And I'll do it next year for you, Kathleen. I just, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make sure I take care of my family um, and, and, and friends or whatever around here. And then I'm going to shout it out to everybody else. So, Kathleen, next year you can have another one named after you, too. Um, you know, one per year. How's that? 
I have no problem doing that. You know, if, if I say it's the first one and first one born, who knows? You know how many, so far, I want to tell you, um, I was lo almost lost track of how many I've had so far. So I had a set of nine, then a set of seven, then I have a set of six. So what does that add up to? Um, let's see. I got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a journal on this too, by the way. Um, yeah, so let's, what's nine? And, and then I had seven and six. And I have another one, a baby one. So that's ten. Ten, I'm just adding slow here. Ten, seventeen, twenty-three. And I found three more eggs. So technically, if this baby works out, I'll have twenty-three. And then um, I might have a couple more. Yeah, I have, a, yeah, twenty-two. And I got a little baby too. I got one that's small. And I found more eggs. I said, that's it. I'm done for the year. And then I couldn't help myself. I saw these eggs sitting on my milkweed, which I don't like the look of my milkweed. I was too worried about them. So um, I found three more eggs. If I find them on my milkweed, then I get, I'm going to try to hatch them. I don't, some of them don't hatch. It's just the way it is. I, I don't have, the, not all the eggs will hatch. That's just, you know, just what it is. So I am really excited so far. So let's see. I have named them all. My list of names right now is we have Bruce and Naya, Peyton, Josh, Gary, Christine, Larry, Nikki, Christopher, Dan, Kathleen, and of course uh, on the bottom of the list is going to be Marigold because she's still with me. I can't release her. That's Marigold right there. So Marigold, I had a, did, did a little video of when I feed her. It's right here. I'm going to show you that one. But it's, I'm so happy, Kathleen. I really am that uh, you're the one that was here for it. Really excited. And um, I apologize for the other channel. I will be on at 6 tonight. I really was excited to work on some craft. And by the way, well done. Since I couldn't announce you did well done on your book. Um, well done. I'm happy you finished it. And uh, I really don't want to. I'm trying to set the channel separately, okay. But because I couldn't come on, I have to apologize to you, Kathleen. So um, it was really good. Not, yeah, on my way to Mexico. We hope so. Uh, we can't release them yet. It's too... It can't release them yet. So, yeah, I'll talk more about you, Kathleen, like, uh, and say how you finish it all. But uh, you deserve it because you went through with me and you did it. And and now the next, there's a next another section that I'm thinking of uh, trying. I'm going to put this out to you, okay, Kathleen? I was going to wait till 6, but since it's only me and you right now, um, I was thinking of doing, I actually now I, I know I need to do a, a journal on a butterfly so that I can make notes of this. Um, and so I'm thinking of doing a journal to do with a butterfly and then I can make notes okay so the first year I started I had one and two and and like make notes of what happened every year and this one's a big year for all the butterflies and the issues that we ran into uh, and put all the notations every year so I'm planning on doing a journal but for you hey hi darling hi Miss Southern Bell I miss you hope you're well hello Miss Southern Bell I'm starting to name the butterfly so Kathleen got here first, and this was, uh, I just named one after Kathleen. This is Marigold. See how she is? I'm trying not to touch her wings, but I give her exercise every day. Because you can see the wings start to deteriorate. I'm very careful of the wings. I don't want to touch them. I don't want to touch them. You can see a little bit of spots, and that's what happens. They start, If you touch the wings too much, and they have a powder poisonous thing on it, all you do is wash your hands. But um, I'm trying... Hey, David, I'm trying not to touch her wings because she has a bad leg and you can see her wings bad. But I feed her three times a day and I exercise her every day. And uh, that's my little girl. That's the one that she can't go anywhere. She fl she can only fly. She flies better than the, the one the first year. Um, you know, I called her my little one. The wings were so bad she couldn't even fly. She just flopped. This one at least can fly to land. So she's better off. But see, if, that's how I feed her. Uh, you see there's no hands around i put her to it to, to know it's food and then she helps herself and then when she's ready she'll curl up and stop she'll, she's full and then i i'll just take her with my fingers and move her to the the screen and she exercises herself so it's uh it's good you can see the bad leg she has right there she, you can see it so that's my little baby girl that's going to be with me till i don't know how long wherever she lasts is i take good care of her so Every day, like I said, I feed her every day. I exercise her every day. And then she flies, and she gets really excited when she hears my or my husband's voice because she knows it's almost like she knows we're taking her out, so she gets like really excited. She starts flopping her wings. So it's kind of like she's going to connect with us for sure, this little one. But let me go back. Uh, David Rice, you're so nice. The, the new baby is named after, um, there it is, 
Oh, I gotta rename this. I'm just gonna rename, uh, put Kathleen on here, rename. Because I put Dan and someone, so I'm gonna put, oh, Dan and Kathleen. Dan and Kathleen were born today. And I have 11 to be named. So, is that what? No, it's not water. It's, um, I want, if people want to feed them, I don't really recommend that unless you really know what you're doing because you can actually hurt them. Uh, I showed it last year, but I don't, if people really pay attention, I'd show them, but I want you to, you got to be very careful to feed them because you could actually hurt, poke their eyes with the toothpick or whatever, but um, that's not water. Um, hello from Marianne. Oh, well, hello, Jack. Coleman, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. So yeah, Kathleen, it's honey and water, a mixture I do. I I saw, uh, I, I used to do sugar, but sugar's harmful for them. The first year I did it, it would give them a really big buzz, and then I started reading into it and learning. Um, so I actually do a combination of, this is what I do. If you can get pure honey, you take pure honey, and you, you, you multiply pure, like let's say one teaspoon honey to six teaspoons water. So you mix, the level has to be not strong because that's not good for them. Don't make it too sweet. So yeah, uh, they are so big. Wow, how beautiful. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, sweetie pie. Thanks, Miss Suttermill, if you shared me out because Jesse's here. Hi, Jess. Hello, sweetie pie. So if anybody wants to name a butterfly, um, it's coming up. The next ones, I have 11 butterflies. First one in my channel gets to be named. And Kathleen was named today because she hit the channel first. And there's Kathleen. That's uh, Kathleen was born now, maybe going on about an hour, an hour ago. And Dan was born this morning. I couldn't get on the internet. So uh, I, my power's been out for t yesterday and part of today starting four in the morning till now like just a little while ago so i'm excited to hurry up and get this one out to to show you and there's dan named after my brother-in-law that passed away and barry gold's the one i showed you how to feed that's mary gold so that's and look at i show a picture i think right here when we go back to kathleen okay that's dan and mary gold we're gonna go back to kathleen look at all the chrysalids i have 11 chrysalids in there that those are all butterflies up there and they're all looking for a name see look at them all all a name so first one that shows up when i live stream when they're born uh i'm naming them after you guys okay so uh and i want to thank you very much um for coming i appreciate that i really do i i don't see you guys all the time and that's okay but i appreciate when you come for sure uh, i kind of missed everybody i haven't i came on for what was it was it yesterday I had one born yesterday yeah that was um Christopher was born yesterday and then I I haven't been on for over a week because I was just been busy I didn't do any I wasn't even looking at a computer at all for a whole week I've been busy with the butterflies and I've been busy with gardening stuff when I get to Mexico I'll have a sip of margarita yeah hoo hoo yes I'll take a strawberry margarita thank you very much I will, they, you have to, it's kind of my thing there. I'm only naming them when you, you first one in the channel there. To be fair, I've said it like for months that if you're the first one to show up in my channel, um, then you, the name, it's named after you. And if you wanted to give it a different, let's say Miss Southern Bell, you come to my channel and one's born uh, and you're the first one in my channel, then you can name it after Jesse O. It's totally up to you. Whoever's the first one born can have it or name it after somebody else. That's what I'll say. Good morning, Susan. We have a brand new baby called Kathleen. Kathleen has been the first one to come to my channel. Like I said, first one on the day they're born. And you'll see a question mark, okay? I changed the name after. So when I come on, I, I will say welcome. And then I'll put a question mark, meaning I need a name for it. And that's how I'm doing the next one. I have 11. So there's lots to go around, guys. I have lots and I have a, a baby one after this one. So 11 and then I have another little tiny one um oh miss southern bell oh that's cool yeah so um that's what i'm gonna say guys i will uh first one name first one come in the channel and then if you have one named already then well i'm just gonna keep moving on to the, the next person that comes in on the channel that day so it's kind of, it's exciting this is very you know how many i got now i've I've actually, the only one with the, I have raised 12 butterflies and Marigold is the only one I couldn't release. So that's 11 butterflies by the time I release Kathleen. Um, 11 butterflies. That is to me fantastic. I'm like so excited about 
it, it was a lot of work. Trust me, when you're doing a whole bunch of them, it's it's it takes time. It's you know I'm feeding them every day and, and taking care of them and making sure they're okay. So um, it's work, but it's well worth it. I'm, I'll do this next year for sure. It's exciting. I got this many. I have a tiny little baby one now, and I found three eggs yesterday. So I don't know if they'll hatch, but uh, looks like I got enough to go around, everybody. Uh, is there anything you can't do? I'm so amazed by how great you have done. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, you know, that stuff I really, really appreciate. It doesn't go to my head, trust me, it, but I really love it. It's like a very nice compliment, so thank you, Jesse. Oh. But uh, I did it from the bottom of my heart. I'm doing it. It's nothing to do with bragging rights over anything. It's to do with what needed to be done, and that's kind of what I want to do. And what I, you want to know something? I got to tell you something exciting. What happened was I was looking for, and I'm always uh, meticulous about the milkweed. My milkweed is terrible, and I don't know what happened. I got to find out what disease it got because I, it really bothers me because I have to chase for good milkweed. I will not feed my own milkweed to these butterflies because they're, they're, the milkweed's terrible. I'm, I'm going to do a video, and I'll show you how bad it looks right now. It, did, it looked really nice when I first grew it, but it looks terrible. And so I actually went... And uh, my friend that got me involved with this, we found a guy um, in, in the county that uh, makes uh, swamp weed. Anyways, I went and bought five plants to put in my butterfly garden and got rid of the ones I didn't like. And so I, I have five growing for next year, um, hoping that I get more butterflies and I feed them well because I want enough because the food source seems to be awkward. There's like a lady that was raising 30 of them and then she was crying on the internet that she couldn't find food source for them. Well, I'm going to tell you this much. Do not take in an egg or anything and raise them unless you have the food source to feed them because that's pretty sad that now she's chasing to feed these animals and I won't do that. I, I've got to make sure I have enough food. So I'm planting all kinds of milkweed for next year to make sure I have enough food to feed everyone I have. Uh... Did I, I hope I said hi to Susan. I'm not getting any notification anymore. I had no content the other day. Oh, oh, that sucks, Susan. And hi, Susan, by the way. Jack, do you release them after they're, they get big? Oh, sorry, Jack. Let me read this screen so I don't um, ignore anybody. Jack Goldman, do you release them after they get big? Yes, I wait. Some days I was... I, I Actually, they get released the same day now because as long as I know their wings can fly, I release them that day. But it's raining. Hi, Dwayne. It's raining right now, so there's no way I'll release them. Unless I see sun and, and clear skies, they'll have to stay till tomorrow. I only keep them at the max probably two days. That's only to make sure if they're, they're fed and they're well. I, don't, I haven't even been feeding them because as long as they have the strength to fly um, and they're good, I just let them go. I let several of them go the day they were born. I let Christopher was born yesterday, and I saw how, how well he flew. His wings were extended. He couldn't wait to get out. Well, I, I hate to tell you, it was a girl, because it doesn't matter what sex they are. You're getting a butterfly, and if it's a girl, boy, whatever, I still release them under your name. So anyways, um, she flew really well. She went out of the cage, and I let her go, and she took off, off of my hand and went flying to a nice big distance. I knew she was wet, ready to go. I know I can tell. Like, if their wings are flying and they're flopping in, inside, it's time to let them go, and I let them go. So... Yeah, I don't have any of them. The only one I have is this one here. Let me show you what I do every day. This is a damaged, poor Marigold, but that's her wing was damaged. I know the issue, why I'm teaching you guys what to look for. If you the chrysalis is laid flat and it's not hanging down, this is what happens. This is why I couldn't save her. We tried to, but she had, had it down flat. She wasn't hanging on anything, and so when I pulled her to the top, she still, it was too late. The, it was, they deformed, the crystal was deformed, and I knew there might be an issue with her, and there was. Um, and we saved another one. If you look at this one here, um, we saved this one here, right there. The chrysalis on that milkweed, and I hung the milkweed upside down so that that chrysalis could be hung on the milkweed, and it's in good shape, so I think there won't be an, uh, an issue with it. She's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks. So, uh, yeah, that chrysalis right there, you can see it. I tried. I wanted to show you that today because that was new. That just happened uh, two days ago. We had to hang it like that. So that's what, if you ever want to get into this, 
that's one of the priorities to make sure that chrysalis stays uh, uniform like the way it's supposed to and hang it yourself don't let it sit down on anything on the ground it'll deform the butterfly it'll have issues with the wings this uh, marigold has issue with her wing she, her leg is bad she has one bad leg one bad wing and her, she's missing an antenna so um just saying and i don't know if i'm saying the right word antenna but whatever so um but she's pretty she's got a good spirit there i don't want anybody depressed that's why i filmed this i want to show you look at this look at this amazing little girl she's um she, I can put her down. I don't have to touch her wings. She, I just show her with the toothpick to feed her. She helps herself as much as she wants. And then I'm going to show you my hands going to come along and I pick her up by the legs. She'll come to my finger and I put her on the screen and let her exercise and try to avoid touching her wings. But you can see she has she, her leg. The one back leg is bad. Um, no, no problem, Kathleen. So this is a one that, you know, if you get into this, you got to know that if you're not careful, you will have some ones that are not in good shape and you're going to have to raise them until they die. That's just the way it is. But um, enjoy what, how, like watch them. You learn so much from the, per this, like she's so hilarious, this one. Oh, Jess, she's very sweet. Jess, she is very sweet and, um, you know, Jess, I could switch her name to you if you want her because I, I we we picked Marigold because I didn't can't release her, but if somebody wants to take name of her, I will switch her name to to another name than Marigold. But I call we called her Marigold. That well, I better keep it to Marigold. Actually, Jess, I'm going to keep her to Marigold because she she used to I call her that I talk to her all the time and say good morning Marigold, and then she gets excited when me and my husband go near her. She starts flying. She knows she's coming out. And she gets very excited. Actually, this after this live stream, I'm gonna go do the same thing here, and I gotta go feed her after I'm done the live stream. And then I go, I put her on the screen. Then she climbs on the screen, flops her wings, and and she exercises on the screen. That's not gonna hurt her. And that's uh, kind of what I do every day with her. I kind of try to do it at least three, two to three times a day. I try to do that. I even brought her outside too to see if she could fly, and she flew a little bit, but she can't fly like she can only fly small distances so um she'd probably be eaten if i let her out there so i'm not going to do that but that's uh right and here's uh, here's one i um i don't know who it was i i released one of the butterflies so i'm going to just show you a film clip there you go there it is when we're releasing the butterfly that's kind of what i do i just put them on my hand i, I hold the, the wings the closed not, just until i can get it outside he's ready to go and then i uh you want to go oh Dwayne says hello kathleen kathleen, kathleen says she'll be right back in a minute there Dwayne. so i'm going to bring it over here and this is what i get to do experiences it's really cool to do this by the way to get i wish like people were here and i'd let you kind of release it on your own to show you what it's like that would be a really cool thing if I named the butterfly after you and I'd show you how to, well, to let it be He's released, a little bit scared. Um, if it came to you, um, I would do that. I would do, actually, no, it's I would him. let it's you right do here. that. Let it release under your name and let it just fly away. So I put them there until they build up when they're ready to go. It was also there eating some of the flour, too. And then, Goodbye, baby. here it goes. It Goodbye. flies away. That's it. I'm just repeating the clip. but There it is. I'm just showing you that I kind of release them too. That's how I release them. I that was Thank you, nail. Jack. It's not. It's you, uh, don't work too it's hard, but have a go. God bless and uh, have a good sleep. Thank you for coming. You want to go? I want to put you in the trees. Come here. So I'd love to do that. I'd love to. Let's say that uh, next year, I don't know, I get together with somebody. Um, I would honestly, that would be a full, cool thing to kind of release. Um, that with the person it's named after would be fun, but you have to be very careful. Well, that's the male. He's a little bit scared. The big dude down here. No, it's him. It's right here. So what else is clips I got? All right, so there this is, go. oh yeah, I was going to show you. Goodbye, baby. This is a milkweed. I want to film Goodbye. and show you how bad it is. And if anybody recognizes this, I've had an issue with both milkweeds are having this these spots and i'm not sure, sure what it is. it is i think it's a fungus but i'm not sure um my milkweed look like that look how nice it looks 
It looked really nice and I have no problem with that common milkweed looking like that. That's healthy for butterflies. But wait until I show you the film footage after what it looks like now. It's just horrible. It's just got these these rusty gray spots all over. It. Something attacks it and it goes all over. And so I, I said I was done for the year. And then when I found three eggs on the top of the good milk week, I said I can't leave them here because they're going to die. And it's all terrible. So I pulled three of them off. I don't know if they're going to hatch the eggs. We'll see. But uh, I'm actually going to pull it out. I don't want the butterflies landing on this. I just don't like the look of it at all. They were so nice looking, and now they look just horrible. So does the, the other milkweed. Uh, let's see. This one, too, I pulled it out. And I replaced it for, there it is, this one here. That look started to turn like that, too. That was turning bad. And I got a lot of butterflies off of that one. Uh, like the eggs and little caterpillars so I got rid of it and I got bought five new plants that are local to my area um, there's a milkweed that's uh, a wild milkweed that I bought five plants um, I'm trying to think of the other one there's I wrote it down there's another name two different kind of milkweed I bought but it's local to my area so I know there shouldn't be an issue and it's swamp weed a type of swamp weed milkweed swamp milkweed yeah so that's kind of uh, what's going on with me. Uh. Oh, Jesse, you switched your name over, eh? You got a different name. Thank you for the likes, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, Miss Southern Bell, thank you for sharing me. I know you probably did that too. Um, and thank you so much. And I've been keeping track. I don't leave comments, Miss Southern Bell, but I have been watching your stuff. Um, and you've been quite busy. She's a busy lady. And I wonder how that, your house is going. I haven't seen that. I saw the last update of it a while back with your house. So, what I got? What is that? Oh, these are my garden plants. I'll be doing that, talking about garden stuff later. But, ooh, yeah. Just because I popped that on, you can't. I can't wait to show you this. This is like four years of having a green pepper plant, and you should see the size of the peppers. Oh my God, they're like store bought peppers. They're that size now. I got four of them. And I didn't pull them yet, and I'm going to pull them so that it'll have more energy to the, the plant, and it'll start flowering and grow more. But four years, you believe that? Four years of bringing this in and out, and I lasted. I thought it died this year, and then it came back, and uh, that plant has amazed me. Very exciting, that plant. So I want to see how many years I can get a green pepper plant to last. All right, so let's go. What else have I got here? Oh, yeah, let's just do this part. Where those of you who didn't see this, this is where I start off the eggs and and separate eggs. There's an egg. See, you can see they're like kind of creamy yellow color. Uh, those are eggs, and I have to wait till they hatch, and then just showing different sizes of it. Which I actually did a live stream showing this a couple of them, where I my hands you can see me I was doing this live. Um. And I have one that size, just a little bit bigger than that size, and three eggs right now. And that's it. After these 11 and these ones, that's all I got for the butterflies for this year, unless I find more eggs, which I don't want to do too late time. But like I said, I have one baby, um, three eggs, and if I get more eggs within it, I don't want to do it any more than the, the rest of the week. I don't think I'm going to look for any of them. If I happen to find them to try to save them, I will. But I'm not going to go out of my way to find them. And then I will have that. And that's be done for this year until next year. And next year I want to try something different. Oh, yeah. This is what I want to say. When I went to go buy the, the plants in, in the county, I bought five new plants. And I'm going to buy some more of these milkweed, swamp milkweed. The guy raises them, too. But he raises them so totally different than the way I do it that I found it interesting. Like my neighbor does it a little different than I do it. And then that guy does it different. But there's nothing wrong with all three ways. They're all, I looked at them and they're all done really well. My, my um, friend has a big, huge one, a big, huge, uh, they're, they're called clouds, but I'm calling them uh, butterfly netting. A big, huge one. And she puts a milkweed plant inside the, the big, huge cloud or butterfly netting and then they just help themselves and eat the the plant it's funny but it works and then the other guy what he does is he puts um he cuts the stems and a piece of stick and he puts them in these little milk jug things with water 
uh, but the, there's nowhere where it would drown because it can't it won't fall in because he stuffs them with um, milkweed and then they climb up there and then he has a stick with a piece of paper cardboard on it that he ties on it and they crystal it on the cardboard I that one was new to me but they look like uh, he looks like he's well done and organized with it it's it was kind of cool, and um, he seemed like a really friendly guy that maybe I might actually film him because um, he seemed like he really gets into this. He knows his birds, and he actually is, um, he owns a, a landscaping company, and so I thought I might ask him if I could actually film what he's doing, how he does his butterflies maybe, um, and add it to my channel to show you that there is a different way than what I do that's very similar but different and it's still healthy the way they're turning out to me that he did a good job and so does my neighbor so kind of neat actually what they do so that's I uh, hope you're enjoying this I don't know how long I'm just yapping away because I'm excited very excited about all this hey, look at them all So I don't know, I can't tell. None of them are dark right now, the chrysalids. So I'm not sure, this is a guess. Normally they go, we knew they were gonna be born today, uh, two of them, because it, they start to turn black, but it, once in a while, see that one in the corner is starting to turn a little bit dark, but it's not ready. Um, it, it really is cool how you can do stuff, by the way, Kathleen. I'm not saying I'm the right way. I know I'm healthy. I protect them, and I do. I feel good how I do it. I want to say I feel like I do a good job, but it's kind of cool to see other people do a good job, but just in a different way, um, and I love it. So you think about I'm doing it, my neighbor's doing it, her granddaughter who started out doing it, and then we have a guy in the county that I bought milkweed. He, 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 he like grows milkweed and then sells it, um, and I saw butterflies hanging around his area too. And he, he just, he's a really cool nature kind of guy. He has, um, oh, if you want to, hi Cliff. If you want to know what, you know what, what plant attracts hummingbirds, you're going to die. But it's this, called a cigar plant. It is a plant that you're going to have to bring indoors. But I watched it. I watched, um, I get hummingbirds here too and I watch what they like. And the cigar plant, they actually love the cigar plant. If you want to attract hummingbirds, um, then I, I want to tell you, just put out a cigar plant. And then you have to bring it in the house and put it back out. But they absolutely love it. He, I saw him. He had different kind of birds where he is. He has, um, we saw the thing really hanging out and loving it. They hang out on this tree, uh, these hummingbirds. And then he has the monarch butterflies hanging out there. He has... Um, this flower that I want to get it's a kind of a sunflower and they seem to really all the animals and uh, like this thing not animals but I mean insects and all that like this particular sunflower that I want to get some seeds from him I'm trying but I probably see him for sure I'll probably get some more milkweed from him next year I was impressed I, I, hopefully he'll let me film it and show you I don't know if I'll do it this year but I would probably get a hold of him and try to show you next year what he does it's kind of cool and and he was correcting me too and it was okay he's actually right to I always say hatched uh, and that's not really the right terminology he was like he was using the right terminologies I know he was when he was saying okay they get up to a chrysalis and poopus is another terminology and chrysalis and it's not hatched because they're not an egg it's called something else and they just uh, I want to get the right name but so I knew he knew his stuff I was listening to him and he knows what he's talking about He's uh, quite knowledgeable on what he was doing. And he was so, you could see he was so proud of showing me. He really was. He was bringing me in his house and he said, you want to see my setup? I want to show you what I do. And he was very excited to show me all of what he does with, uh, with the, the monarchs. It's actually really, he does really cool stuff with it. So I'm going to add this. I would My f last thing I want to do is actually... I'm going to get another big one next year if I can't. I want to get a big one and try the way my neighbor does it. I think I'm going to do a big hoop, or sorry, cloud they're called, and put a big plant in it and let it help itself. I'm going to try something different next year. But I, my ultimate goal is to kind of build something outside that's all netting and have it outside. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Jesse. Um, and we are. My, my friend, my neighbor who got me into this, which is her granddaughter, gets her into it. Um, they release a lot. She had 200 or something. Like I said, the only thing is people are interested in doing it. If you do not have the food supply for it, don't do it. Because, I mean, uh, you want to raise it and then you can't feed it. You have to have the food supply. That's why I keep on saying you have to, have to, have to um, have milkweed grown nearby. And you need lots of it because one eats a lot. Imagine how many all these eat. Lots, lots, lots. So, um... Yeah, it is cool. It's very cool for, uh, I mean, he was he was very nice afterwards. He he left me a message on our way home because we have to go we have to go to the county to go. I had to travel uh, a good forty five minutes to to go get the milkweed, and I I didn't hesitate on it. I didn't. I said, how much are they? I didn't hesitate on the price. I knew I needed them, and I it's what it is. But I am thinking of maybe uh, doing the same thing next year. I'm going to see if I can grow them and kind of sell them off to subsidize everything that what I got going on. So I might do that. I might see if I can get into growing milkweed and uh, get it going. I sh the the good stuff, the the swamp, the swamp. When he was even telling me, I think he wanted me to grow it because he was giving me advice. He's a horticulturist. And he was giving me advice on how to do the milkweed. So it's not like he cares if I bought it from him or not. He more cared about, he was trying to show me how to grow it. So it was kind of cool. Milkweed, <laughs> it's butterfly salmon. I'm not going to name one after you if you say that. You're not getting one named because you'd probably eat it, Cliff. I can't give one a, I can't give one a Cliff. I can't, I can't name, you guys, if Cliff comes in here first, I don't think I'm going to give him one because he, he, he can't eat it. There's no way I'm doing all this work and he gets to eat a butterfly. That's just wrong. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm the one releasing him. Uh, I know, he's just joking. He's not going to eat a butterfly. Um, some of them do actually, Jesse. That's what I learned this year. Where I'm doing a monarch butterfly garden, they're actually hanging with me. One almost went to my hand the other day. <laughs> so some of them will go. Right away, they'll start heading probably to Mexico, and some kind of stay locally. I think there's nothing I can do about that. But I was in the butterfly area, I don't know, less than a week ago. Every time I go back there and kind of pull the weeds and check on my plants, uh, monarchs come around me, and one was landing in my hand. No, I know he wouldn't, Susie. I know he's joking. I know he's joking, Susan. We we know. She's protecting her side going, he's not gonna eat one, he's just kidding. But they're delicious. <laughs> it's like going to deli. Um <laughs> Yes? I'm gonna go get some cat litter. I wanna clean out those. Yeah, okay. Alright. You need to hear that. We're getting we're getting some cat litter to clean out our cat litter. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you know we clean out the cat litter. Well, I want to tell you where I'm going. Yeah, no problem. It's all right. It's all good. But the, so, it's funny. All right. Um, okay, so one more time. We'll just do a little bit. What time is it anyways? We have, oh, we still got, I got time, about 20 minutes. I'll get off. Um, so there we go. Let's do this again. There is, that's Kathleen. Kathleen was born now over an hour ago and i don't move that i gotta move her pretty soon i wait about four hours till the wings are dry enough and then i move them out of that cage and put them in another one where they can just spread their wings until i'm ready to release them now it looks like the sun is coming out and as long as they fly good i'll probably release them by today as long as they're all dried up hello so is kid yeah oh so they're making sure they know he's kidding yeah we know he's kidding We know. You're right. He is definitely kidding. But this is a, a, exciting. So, like I said, I have 11 more to be named. I got 11 more butterflies to be named. The first one come in here when I'm live streaming when it's born is gets the name after me if you haven't gotten one already. So, I appreciate you coming all the time. I pre uh, hello, my friend. Your email keeps coming back to me. I don't know what you're doing there, custom screening, but you're gonna. It's that's my email. 
that is my email. I'm not sure what you're doing. It shouldn't come back. Oh, I'm getting some Tim Hortons coffee. Oh, I want some too. Actually, I want some badly. I need some more. I had one coffee because of the power. We couldn't make any. So we went and uh, he went and drove to the only one open that he could find and had one. But I didn't get my right coffee. I'm missing. Um... Oh, well, keep trying because as long as you typed it right, it, sh it shouldn't come back. It should be fine. That's the only one I can give you. So anyways, um, I could go for another coffee, and I got it, but they, they were such in a hurry that they made a mistake of my coffee, and they didn't give me honey. I like honey milk in my coffee, so I had my coffee without honey, but it's okay. I could go for another one. Definitely go for another one. Definitely, yeah. She, well, you, I, um, don't you have, you, she must be around Tim Hortons. She must have had Tim Hortons before. Uh, Mike gave me such a hard time on Tim Hortons. Boy, I, I don't bring it up as much, but uh, I do love it. <laughs> I wish I had, I wish I, you know, they saw how much stuff I raised out of my cups out of Tim Hortons all the time. I give them good advertisement, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind a free coffee for all the advertisement I do. Growing all my plants are all in Tim Horton cups. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Kathleen, I have uh, to tell you that... Um, to the plants that you told me about, you know I grew, right? There's the Silosio, and I had Nasturtium, and I have that strawberry. It doesn't taste as good as you think. Trust me, I ate the leaves of everything, and the, the leaves to me and flowers were not that great tasting for the Silosio and the strawberry. I ate the berries. I ate the leaves. Um, I was kind of disappointed that the way they described the taste isn't quite as good as what I thought. And the nasturtium has a decent taste, but it's very spicy. It tastes like kind of like between a radish and horseradish. So I am tasting all these things that are supposedly, you know, they're an edible plant. Just because they're edible doesn't mean they taste that great. That's all I'm going to tell you. And so far, um, none of them taste that great. The best one was nasturtium. I didn't eat the flower yet. I guess I'll have to get the nerve to eat the flower, but I did eat the leaf, and it t tastes like, I mean, if you were hungry, you could eat it, but it has a spicy taste to it. Uh, oh, okay, no problem, Custom. You work on it, and we'll keep in touch. Absolutely. No problem. So, yeah. The Solosio and what was it? Strawberry spinach or something. Does not taste like the way it was. Well, you'll, I like both radish. Do you like horseradish too? It tastes, it has that kind of taste, that spicy kind of radishy, horseradishy taste. It's stronger than radish. When you eat a radish, well, I guess radishes, if they're older, have a really strong, spicy taste. Well, that's what that, that's what nasturtium like. You might like that one. That one's, that's not bad. The other two, I'll try it again. I'll eat them again. And, and But I don't feel like they tasted like the way they described that they taste. Not really, not in my opinion anyways, but I have them. They look cool. I actually going to do a video how I grew them and everything, but I might do a quick one to show you later. I might do a quick video to show you what they look like now. And yeah, but I was just waiting for the, I like, I'll show all this stuff after I do my butterflies. I'm going to get all my butterfly babies done and then move on to that. Um, and Miss Summer wants to know how you're doing with the canning because I know she's been a canaholic. Oh, I got peaches I did. I got my peaches done and I, I have a lot. But I didn't take the time to can them. Hi, Purple too. Hello. Thank you for coming. I'm sure you, Mrs. Southern Bell, shared me out. That's why I recognize you guys' your names. Thank you so much. Um, oh, Jesse O knows what the coffee tastes like. It's delicious, isn't it? All right, Kathleen. That's Kathleen, and we got Dan, and we'll switch into Marigold as we chat, just show different things. So, and anybody knows me from the other place, I'll be on tonight. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm dying to do a little bit of crafting here. I, like, I know I do my separate channels, but I'm kind of pointing it out because I, I, the power went out for me yesterday. I had no way to really tell people that I couldn't come on. So, if I, if I say I'm coming on at a certain time... I will be there, late, early or late, 
but if the power goes out and I don't show up at all, that's why. Because we have, we have such bad issues with electrical. When the storm comes, the power is extremely bad for us. Peach half's cool. Peaches, yeah, yummy peaches. So, um, I I did peaches too, but I, I didn't can them. I didn't have enough peaches, but I actually sliced mine and put them in freezer bags. So I have about like two two big bags and a, a quarter bag of peaches that I have in my freezer. Oh yeah, and I was gonna say something about. On, on, well, I'll say it tonight, Kathleen, the next project. Actually, I should say this. Oh, yeah? Oh, all right. All right. Well, that's good that you got a lot of cannon done. Very good. So anyways, the next project I want to do is actually, um, Kathleen, it's going to be a journal using recycled material, but that's after this one. So I just, that's my thing. I'm kind of telling you ahead that if you're interested, uh, radio channel, like a radio channel, what is canning buddy? I listen to her channel like a radio. Oh, okay. That's cool. Very cool. Um, so if you want, Kathleen, start collecting recycled material. Um, that's kind of a challenge, a fun challenge I want to do. But I'll say that tonight. I'll, ta I'll talk to you about what I want to do tonight. Tonight. If, as long as I cross my fingers, my power stays on, I can come back. I want to make it tonight going to look at stuff for my new. Oh, cool. I want, I want, I want to make it tonight. I want to make it tonight. Going to look at stuff for my new house being built. Cool. Very cool. You have gobs of recycled stuff? Yeah, you're going to like, this is going to be next one. It's not going to be right away, Kathleen. I'm just t kind of telling you if you want to do some fun stuff, um, that's what I want to do next. I'm kind of warning on it. Since we're seeing marigolds here and we got the butterflies. Um, I'm going to show that. <laughs> I don't know. You could always have some cliff if you want to join. I don't know if she'd like that. I, I think she, they don't, I, they're territorial a bit too. Yeah, she has a, she's going to have a nice house, Kathleen. Very nice house. Look at all those babies. Yeah, she stays in right here. She stays in this one. Does Miracle say it? Yeah, she asked it for safety. This won't hurt her if she falls or anything. It's all soft. That's why. Hey, wow, you get up. Hello, how are you? Just listening since I didn't get to sleep till. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Misha. Um, how. Well, obviously you're tired. Four o'clock in the morning. Oof, no thanks. I can't stay up that late. It's too hard for me. So, yeah, she stays in that. It's safer for her. Hi, Leanne. She stays in that that little section for um, safety. The net, like if she she's she still flies, but very little. Um, but it's it's safe for her. Um, Mr. Oba, you leave that butterfly alone. <laughs> hey, Leanne. Hi, honey. Uh, I miss. Look at you guys are all showing up. Thank you very much. I miss everybody. I do. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't been on. Those of you coming in, um, I have a power situation. So if if you don't see me when I say I'm going to be on, I normally show up late, maybe a little late, a little early, but I never not show up. And when I don't there's a sign that I, I have power issues and it was really hard to even leave a message so but I'm going to try to be on tonight I want to finish I was very excited I've been working on stuff offline here so uh, we're going to get something done 
get some stuff done tonight. And for those of you, we answer. Well, Leanne, you got to be the first one to come, and we'll name say. I have eleven guys. I have plenty of butterflies to go around. So if you guys are not here, or you had a butterfly named after you, then I will start naming after some more relatives of mine. That's what I'm going to do. So if you're here uh, first, and and or you already have one named after you. Then I'm going to go and um, name them after my family. Because I got 11 of them. 11 and a baby one makes 12 and I have three eggs. So we'll see. I got lots to fill. Everybody come in here can all probably look at. I don't even have 11 people on my channel right now. I have 10. So there's enough to go around for everyone to have one. To have a butterfly named after them and released. And then I'll do this next year too. I'll do the same thing. Um, if I have a couple relatives I want to name them after and then the rest are everybody else's to have out so it's kind of cool that we got I'm really happy I'm happy to have all of you have one named after you but it was extremely good knowing a uh, hi Andy T show how you doing honey um, I was really happy that Kathleen I've known Kathleen for a long time we've met each other in real life and I'm so honored to actually have the very first one named after her I will be honored for all of you to have one named after you but I, I am definitely it was cool to have Kathleen be the first one today. She never get notices, and it was meant to be. She finally got a notice um, for her on my channel, so I thought that was really cool. Um, it was meant to be. The first one was meant to be for Kathleen. And uh, like I said, that that's really exciting. It was I, As soon as I saw her name, I went, oh, my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy she got here first, and we got to name her Kathleen. So she'll be released if the weather permits and it's nice and sunny and clear weather. Uh, what do we got, Misha? Oh, wow, Kathleen, I recently watched the... Um, all right. Hey, NDT, thank you for coming. I bet you, I have to thank uh, a lot for Miss Southern Bell. I'm sure she shared me out. So thanks very much, Miss Southern Bell. We are seeing channels coming in here. I haven't seen for a bit. So I don't think they get my notice. When I come on, I don't think um, anybody sees it. But thank you so much. Doing okay? How are you and all the chat? Um, I think we're all good, NDT. We're all good. Um, hey, how's your garden stuff doing? What's going on with your garden? Did you have major issues? I know you asked me before about something. Um, and like my tomatoes are good. You should see some of the tomatoes. I, well, I ate them, so you can't see them, but, but some are weird. Some kind of were huge and deformed and some, I think it's some, my beef steak were the best tomatoes ever because those were nice and round and beautiful tomatoes. And then I have some other deformed tomatoes. They taste good. They're just kind of weird deformed tomatoes. And I have other small tomatoes that were good. And, and I have so many tomatoes that are loaded up in my garage. You want to know what I made with the tomatoes? I had so many. So, so far I made, um, I've had BLT twice, BLT sandwiches. I made spaghetti sauce and spaghetti. And I made chili. Um, and I still have loads of tomatoes. So, I haven't figured out what I want to make the next batch. The only thing is I wish I could can them. But I don't get them all. They're not ripe at the same time to can. So, I have to do make something in a batch, uh, but like a, not an overly large batch. So we had good harvest so far, had some issues to start with update video uploading tomorrow. Okay, cool. I, I, I share on Facebook. Thanks, Miss Southern Bell. Um, so you had, you, you said you had, like I have, I have to say I had good tomatoes. Good, I, I'm happy. I'm even happy with my peaches. I did my peaches just a couple days ago. I did it twice. Uh, well, we took them down. They were still too hard. I waited a couple days. I did a half the batch, and then I did the next batch. So, like I said, I have peach slices in the freezer. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy tomatoes. The thornberries in my freezer. Rhubarb came out pretty good. Um, I'm getting yellow beans and purple beans. Um, oh my god, my butternut squash is like crazy taken off. I, I lost track of how many I got out of there. Butternut squash. What else do I got coming up? I still have those. Oh, by the way, that's a plant for you to grow, Kathleen or anybody. You, you, you want to get a hold of those teaspoon tomatoes. You're going to love them. The teaspoon tomatoes are nice looking. And you get a zillion and you can share with everybody. And they're great on a salad. 
That teaspoon tomato is one of my top plants this year. I don't know. I have several. I, I'm having a hard time of saying which one I like the best because I had so many things that grow through nice this year. But this teaspoon tomato is a wonderful plant. The Oh, you can't find tomatoes? I want tomatoes, but I can't find any. Oh, wow. The teaspoon tomato, those ones, that seed, you, you need to get them. They're, like, awesome. They look cool. They, they blossom like a big bush. They go crazy. And you have tons of little tomatoes. And you just, every day you can go out and pop a tomato in your mouth for a salad um they're just great it's a great plant that one's out of the tomato plants i would say i like that one the best of all and then probably my beef steak was second best but um really really nice cool plant i actually have shared them with my neighbors the little tiny tomatoes because i get so many yeah, I bet you, you have a large area. I bet you had all gallons of tomatoes. If I had come, if they were all ripe at the same time, I, tea, I would have did canning. I would have canned tomato sauce and tomatoes. I didn't get that many, but uh, I did get, did okay. So that's what I'll say. Did I did okay. So it's nice seeing you guys. Uh, uh, there you go. I, it's funny you can't get tomatoes though. Tomatoes are like right now. It's I can't even give tomatoes away. Everybody has tomatoes. I actually give my neighbor everything I got, like because she doesn't. She's a almost a vegetarian. She only eats chicken. So the one neighbor that gave, started me out with the butterflies or the the friend, I want to call her friend neighbor. Um, I actually give her tomatoes because she likes tomatoes i gave her all oh, that the pino peppers grew really crazy too i did good on that one too the, the pino peppers are good uh i you know what i do though Mish? i've learned so much uh between last year and this year if you have issues with animals taking your stuff when they're red take them off before they're red and put them into an area where you're going to get sun i put them in a garage and all my tomatoes ripened up on their own. I didn't have to leave them out there. I pulled them when they were green, put them in front of my garage in the window, and they grow to their red. Uh, this way, because the animals don't tend to go after green tomatoes. They go after when the minute they start turning pinky red, then you got I got the squirrels eating them. And the bunnies, I found out. My husband caught a couple bunnies inside the tomato patch, and they were munching down on the tomatoes. So, but only red ones. The green ones aren't touched, so I pull them when they're green. So now I've shared with nature, the bunnies and the squirrels all got tomatoes, but I got tomatoes too. So everybody in the nature world was happy because I fed them too. Boy, did I feed them. They got lots of peaches. They got lots of all kinds of stuff this year. Strawberries too. I wish I could. Remember, Kathleen, I tried fried green tomatoes. I'm not good at them, but... Well, I'm gonna. I, I want to. I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm gonna tell you this much, Misha. Um, they grew really well. I'm doing a video on all the stuff. When I get a chance in the fall, all my stuff's gonna get edited, and I'm gonna release them to show you what they look like at the different sizes. And um, so I'll, I'll show you there. But what I'm gonna tell you is the pepper did not taste like the way it was supposed to. Um, I was kind of disappointed with it. They grew well, really well. It's a plant that I recommend to grow, the tapino pepper, but it tastes like a green pepper. There is no way that it tastes like a jalapeno, mild jalapeno pepper. So I was disappointed. I was waiting. I've actually put the peppers in my chili. I put them in my, I had them in salad. And I have used them up in different places, but they do not. I got to go have a great, you too. Bye, Miss Southern Belle. Um, so yeah, I, I had them, but they don't taste anything like jalapeno pepper. So I was kind of disappointed. I'm just telling you on that one. Um so that's what i would say yeah they don't t like i now i know because i can say it i've tasted the stuff i've tasted i've I tasted different nail, plants the way they it's say they nail. taste and they don't taste it's like it like go. that's my opinion so that the i even had my my mom mm -hmm. and husband taste them and they taste like a green pepper come here so but i'm not disappointed they grow really well they're a nice plant you can grow them in the ground and in a container The peanut means no, not so hot. They wait a minute. 
Nana, nana means no harm. Yeah, but it doesn't taste anything like oh, you were right, Kathleen. Nice but it tastes scared. nothing like uh, jalapeno. It says it tastes like a jalapeno pepper with, with no, no spice. Right here. It doesn't taste like that at all. It tastes like a green pepper. So I was expecting to have that taste of jalapeno, and go. it doesn't. It doesn't have Goodbye, a taste to me baby. like jalapeno at all. Goodbye. So that one, and then like I said, the other plants, the spinach strawberry made it taste like it tastes so delicious. There it is. And that thing, I tasted both, and I got to do it again because I don't remember what to tell you what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste like the way they say it tastes. I thought that was the and male. then Sliosio, you should see how female. big the Sliosio is huge in my garden. They're huge now. Um, they look beautiful. They're a beautiful looking plant. The trees. But here. as far as taste, well, I didn't find them tasting that well. I don't like the taste of that one or the strawberry spinach. Didn't, I, don't, I don't have a, oh, that tastes so good. The baby doesn't want to leave you. Well, that's the male. It, it, it does, so. I just put them on there, and then I let it take its time. That's how I do it. If they don't, some of them go, I want to no, get the heck out of here. here. And they, I, the minute I put them out, they fly off my finger. And there's other ones that are kind of a little shy, I guess, that don't want to leave Goodbye, right away. But there baby. you go, see? As soon as I Goodbye. let her go. She flies, flies, flies. Um, the one Christopher, oh my God, I let that one. No, which one was it? I have to think. The is. one, Nikki, the one they named after my sister. Oh my God, as soon as I put that one out the door, that flew like crazy. That, that one, like, oh, smart. I'm getting the heck out yeah. of here. I had enough. And it flew go? crazy, that one. This one flew pretty good. And there's other ones that fly, can't fly. They fly to my tree in the park. They don't fly that high, but um, it's okay. It's all right. They. If they don't want to go, I put them back. Like, if they don't fly off my hand right away, I put them back in the cage, and I let them hang in there, and then I bring them out again, try it again, and if they're ready to go, they go. I don't force them to leave. I just, if I put them on that branch and they don't fly the away from me, I bring scared. them back in and let them relax in, inside um, the netting. You know, no, it's they're it's clouds, right but they're butterfly cages, and I let them rest, and then I'll release them again. There you go. Goodbye, I would baby. stuff them with, well, it's, Goodbye. yeah, I guess it would hurt. I could try. Uh, I would stuff them with cream uh, cream cheese wrapped in bacon and bake them. I'll, I could try it. There it is. But it won't be, it won't taste like a jalapeno one at all. It won't have that taste. It'll taste like green pepper stuffed with cream cheese it's and not. bacon. It's but the female. Um, I might give it a try. I was supposed to. Um, I'll tell you, if I, you if I try it, Kathleen, well, I'll tell you I tried it uh, and see what it tastes like. Um, but uh, I, I'll, I'll try. I just haven't really had the time. Honestly, I haven't wanted to heat up my house. It's been 90 degrees. So I have not cooked anything in the oven. And so I don't have a place that I could cook it outside to do that. Everything has been in a crock pot. It's been in, I have a That's burner outside. A little bit everything For weeks and weeks and weeks, I've cooked outside, not in the house at all. I don't want well, to heat up my right house. Here. It's like crazy. My poor air conditioning is working really hard. There you go. I had Goodbye, that, baby. Kathleen, only stuffed green Goodbye. pepper with burgers, etc. I never had that. Yeah, they, the jalapeno peppers, that's what you do. You normally stuff them there with a cream is. cheese and bacon and honey, and there's different recipes which are delicious. I, I, I agree with her. I there's pralines and cream. You take female. jalapenos, stuff them with Here's pralines and go. cream, and you can kind of pour some honey over top of them, and then you there bake you them. Oh, my God. Oh, they're, I'm telling Come you, here. they're great they're really good and you could actually probably stuff them with some nuts would be good i bet you 10 of one you could take a prelims and cream cheese stuff them with some pecans um then bake them and drizzle honey over top of them and i bet you they would be the bomb they would be really good yeah do it with your jalapeno absolutely yeah well that's the male he's a little bit scared that, they'd be delicious with jalapeno for sure she's 100 percent right no it's him it's 100%. right here Oh, I'm on it for an hour. I gotta go put my thumbnail on. There you go. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. I use. I see. I won't use the oven. I cook outside, Mish. That, which I've told you. That's not. That's not new to you guys. I've been saying that in the summertime. I don't. I rarely cook it inside the house. I rarely cook it because I don't want to eat my house up. Now, come the fall, I'll be cooking. You know what I want to do? I want to cook with uh, charcoal briquettes. Um, I want to try different things. I'll probably make more chili. I'll probably do stew. I'll do a lot of stuff, hot stuff, soups and everything else. Um, I, I want to do different kind of soups outside too. 
So in the fall, I'll do all that outside too. And then come back, I can cook. At least in the fall, I can cook. See, the canning, that's why I don't can. Um, I find it too hot um, to can because the can, well, Kathleen will know. She's been canning. That really heats up your house. I, I used to can all the time, and then I thought, this is too hard on my air conditioning, so I won't can. And I got, I'll can in the fall, but unfortunately, a lot of the stuff is gone by the fall time. You can only can things that, that grow like potatoes and things that come out in the fall. That's what you get to can. If I do peaches, like right now, freaking my house would be on fire. How long is too long to let them ripen? On You'll know they start turning black if you're talking about them. Yeah, call me crazy. Uh, Kathleen, I don't know how you did it because I, you would pr probably would have been on fire. That would have been so hot. Canning heats your house tremendously. But well done. You did a lot of hard work. And, and the pe I hope the peaches work good for you. Just keep an eye on them, like I said. It, low syrup for me, personally, I was trying to lose weight and, and did a low syrup um, a few years ago. And they all went bad. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to go bad for you. I'm just saying just keep an eye on them um, with that if you've never done it before. Um... And like I said, Omisha, oh, for you, I think I answered that, but they'll, they'll turn black. When they start to turn black, they're getting too old. They'll have a nice green color to them You're for the jalapeno or the, the, the pino pepper, either one of them. When they're ready, they'll be nice and big, and they'll be the normal green pepper kind of color. And if they get too old, they'll start turning almost black. Yeah, Kathleen, you were leading the way. Yeah. I think, um, I think it's great that she can. I just don't want to do it in the, the summertime. But I think it's great. I think if, if you know, she's going to have food and when she wants it in the wintertime where you feel like wanting peaches, she's going to have them right on her shelf. So did you do, you should do chili too, Kathleen. Oh, I'm, oh no, you don't like hamburger. You said you don't, I remember that. But canned chili is the bomb. Canned chili is the bomb to have, I'm telling you. It's awesome. Awesome possum. Thanks. I I think I only have banana peppers. Yeah, you you should try me. You know, I want to warn you about growing peppers. I think you guys should have fun next year. Try something different that you haven't grown. If you feel like doing it, like if you you know what I want to try growing. I haven't grown hot peppers, but I don't want a lot of them because I don't eat them. But I want to try at least growing jalapeno peppers. But do not put them near your normal peppers. So if I do jalapeno, actually I might grow jalapeno up top. I might grow them in my backyard. And I want a section, a new section for peppers outside. I might grow um, some peppers, a normal green and different kind of peppers in the back. Because if they pollinate them, they'll turn your peppers hot. So you don't want to put hot peppers growing next to a normal green pepper. Because when they, the, the insects pollinate, they'll, you'll get cross-pollination. And they're going to make them partly hot, your green peppers. So you don't want to do that. Just, I don't know if you know that or not, but separate. Hot peppers should be in a totally different section of your yard to where your other normal green peppers are. Don't put them together. Uh, so is pork and chicken. Wait a minute. So the hamburger can is really good. Shocking. Um, oh, so the hamburger can is really good. Are you saying, you, you, did you do that yet? Or Because um, chili is fantastic. Chili is fantastic with hamburger uh, canning, Kathleen. It's really, really good. If that's what we're talking about. So is pork. And so she's saying, did you try all the meats? Is what you're saying? Okay, so you tried. Okay, so what kind of varieties did you do of, um, of are you talking about peppers? You, I tried four varieties. Only one is doing well. What are we talking about, Mish? Tell me the kind of peppers you're growing. And where are you growing them? My squash had last, because you could have had, you know what, I can answer that one, Kathleen. If your squash was all male flowers, you won't have any, you, it won't give you any um, squash. And I want to tell you that this, my butternut squash started that way. I was getting a lot of male stuff. So did the gourds. Um, they, they, hey, hey, Mike. Oh, you did, yeah, I have lots. Oh, that's fantastic, Kathleen. Fantastic. Excellent job. Um, and as far Amish been doing it for a long time so so uh, my answer to you you didn't have anything if you have male flowers 
and you don't have no female flowers to pollinate, which happens a lot. You won't get any. You won't get anything of anything. You won't have squash. You won't have anything. You won't have melons. And like I said, my butternut squash did that. Um, but they're supposed to do that. You're, the male flowers are supposed to come out first, and then the female flowers will come out later, and they'll pollinate the female flowers, and then you're going to get whatever you get. The gourds did the same thing for me. Um, it was kept. I said, "Am I ever going to get a gourd?" And it kept doing it. It kept going male flowers, and finally now it took a while, but n now my gourd is as big as the ones last year, and I actually got gourds. But these are really cool. I can't wait to show you. This Casabon gourd is so unique. It looks nothing like last year, and it actually it, the shapes of them are really cool. Um, very cool. I can't wait to show you that. I'm going to show you a later date of my. The gourds this year they're really cool these casabon gourds um yeah i'm doing them all in my raised bed california california bell mini yellow bell uh, okay so which which one grew for you and did you do them in directly see i don't do them directly in the ground that doesn't work for me mish i you i have to plant them indoors i told you and put them separately out and then i don't have an issue if you put them directly in the ground a lot of things the birds eat the seeds so I don't know if that's your, did you put them in the ground first? Oh, that's cool. I threw a pumpkin and watermelon out last year and they are all growing now this year. That's good, Kathleen. Maybe you'll end up with some pumpkin and watermelon. That's fantastic. That's cool. Oh no, I started them ahead. Okay, so then it tells me what kind of soil that you're putting them in. You're saying you're in your raised bed, but what do you got in the soil part of it? Um. Hey, David. Hi, honey. Hi. They were doing well initially. Did they get some kind of disease to them, Mish? I don't know. I got to look at it because I have issues too. I get diseases. There's fungus that affects certain things. There's a bug that affects certain things. Oh, by the way, Mike, um, I did want to show you the peaches. Um, I, I figured out, I think uh, one of my issues with my peaches, Mike, is I did when I was, I did it. Uh, I'm trying to think, was it yesterday I did some of them? Anyways, I found a worm. So I think that's what's infecting my, my peaches. I found, I was doing one and I went, oh, there's a worm here. And I was going to keep it. And then I thought, oh, that's gross to show you. So I still have the peach and spots to show you. But I have this feeling that it was the type of worm that affected my peaches. Because um, I did find a, a little worm in it. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, I would love, Mish, do you have any, you want to take pictures of that? Uh, take some pictures, and we'll talk later. Like, take them for now, and then when I get, when I'm done doing the butterfly stuff, uh, bring it up. Show me the stuff. I want to see this. I honestly, I truly do, guys. If there's something you're growing, you have an issue with it, bring it up on the screen, and everybody can kind of give a comment to what they think might be going on with it. Um, I will do this after the monarch butterfly stuff is done, when I have them all raised and all sent out. Uh, then I will get into the garden stuff, and that's when you bring the pictures to me and tell me what the issue is. Let's talk about for next year. I mean, I realize it's, it is late. We're talking about August, September. We'll be done. My, I'll be done doing my garden stuff. I can't really plant anything. It's too late now. So, uh, yeah. It was on my video. Okay. It was on my video. All right. But I'd still like to see a picture of them. To two would be cool to to bring pictures to show everybody. I have a skeef given to me, so I will paint it and use it as a vegetable bed. Oh, cool! I have. Would you say a skid? Don't paint it though. Hey, UFO. Hello. Hi. Hi, honey. Um, yeah. Don't paint it. You're gonna if you're gonna grow things in it. I don't think you should paint anything. Remember what I told you about when you paint and put it in the wood. It does go into the soil after, so I'm just telling you, if you're going to plant something, plant flowers, but don't plant food in it. You know, it leaches into the ground. So that's why I, I buy, there's no, no additives to my wood. When I do the raised beds, they're all, I don't paint them, I don't do anything with them, unless I'm going to put flowers in them while I paint them. So anyways, that's just, you get, yeah, a boat, a sand pan. So if you're going to do flowers, that's great. Food, well, that's your choice, but I, I, I'm not going to put anything like that in them. So, um, yeah, I, I know, and I don't, if I, I, I won't put food in it if I paint it. Just saying, that's your choice, but that stuff leaches into the ground, all that paint and all that crap. So, um, I, I'm, if you want to do it, you go do it, but I, I wouldn't do it. 
that's like I, anything I eat, I don't paint or, or decorate it. I won't. I'll leave it natural wood or natural plastic. Actually, even when I work with plastic, it's food grade. I don't just get any kind of plastic stuff. I, I put food grade plastic. And by the way, um, I will tell you this much. I have some videos showing that it worked. Certain things worked really good in a five-gallon bucket. However, that was the worst thing I ever did was buy those stupid... Um, I'm going to try it again next year, but I'm telling you, they were terrible, those bags. Those grow bags, ugh, it didn't work for me. They, they're horrible. They either dry out too much or they get saturated too much and nothing really like growing in it. I've tried three different things in it and none of it grew well at all. So... Um, I don't know. Maybe you have better better luck than I have with grow bags, but I'm I'm not promoting them. I don't I don't even like them right now, at all. All right. So let's see. All right. Well, anyways, I've been on long enough, so I am uh, gonna say adios. And those of you who know me, if you want to see me tonight, and we're gonna do something fun. Um, I will see you then. Cliff, that's for you too if you're still listening to me, Cliff. Um, I'm kind of doing what you wanted me to do. So I don't know if Susan or Cliff, you're still listening to me. But I, I've been on for an hour, so I'm adiosing. The next time I come on will be the next Butterfly Born. And if anybody first one's first served, like if you haven't had a butterfly named after you, please come back and you'll get it if you're the first one on my channel. I am saying goodbye to all, each and every one of you. Thank you all for coming, and Miss Southern Bell's gone, but thank you for sharing me. Um, I will see you later on tonight, it's, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, if my power is still on. Have a good one, guys. God bless.